Sofa bed. Yeah. Sofa bed. Yeah, a corner sofa bed. Corner sofa bed. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you today how to assemble corner sofa bed. For it, ten. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm gonna show you how to put this one together so you get the opening the space here on the side and you get some storage over here. Let's do it now. We starting with the IKEA Frichten corner sofa bed with the storage. So this is the storage part. We're gonna put it on the side and attach the piece of fabric we have. That's the only fabric you're gonna get with this sofa. The rest is already done. So you can just position the fabric on the corner. And you put the fabric depend if you want to have the storage part on the left or on the right. In this case, we're gonna have it on the left. You want to have it on the right the fabric gonna go to the other side so position the corner of the fabric right on the edges and slide up stretch it out as much you can the end part and attach it on a velcro just make sure this is nice and straight so at the end the sofa storage gonna look smart from the front exactly the same on the bottom part stretch it as much you can if you do a mistake no problem just open it up and go again do it right the key is to keep the corners on the corner so that's how it is here you see the edges on the fabric is on a corner of the sofa and then just attach the velcro at the end then on the bottom and exactly the same on this part just stretch it down as much you can and uh, tap it in the velcro that's it. The end of the fabric gonna be off for now. On the other side, we start with the corner again. We press the corner fabric in, attach it in a corner, nice and stretched. And we can do exactly the same as we did at the front. Just stretch it down and attach. Stretch it as much you can, so the front is nice and smart. So this is gonna be the left storage as I mentioned. You have the right uh, storage on the right side, uh, just follow instructions, the fabric gonna come on the other side. So here we're finishing the top with the fabric, just attach it, stretch it out. Once it's done you can put the storage up and you see the end is still not attached, so just fold the corner and that's how you're supposed to end up if you did everything right. So everything is attached. Now we can put the biggest part of the sofa, that's the back part down and the side panel. This is the bigger side panel, which is gonna be next to the storage space. So just put them together and we're gonna join them with the uh, uh, two metal Kind of plugs just slide them in there is no screw anything so just slide them in and attach them together for now they're not gonna hold uh, firm so you just keep them in a position basically attached with those two uh, metal plugs so keep them in L shape and you can put the storage part in. Watch out your floors if you're working on a wooden floor or any laminated floor you can scratch it easy so the good things maybe good practice is to keep the cardboard under it while you're working. So just slide the in, slide the storage in completely attached to the side panel. This is the screws we're gonna use so basically it's the screw without the head so we're gonna screw the head in first on a f all four of them and we're gonna attach it the storage space to the side panel and the back panel. Slide it in through the hole, through the storage space to the side panel, to the bigger side panel. That's the connection there. And just secure it. You can use the Allen key which uh, the VHIK provide or you can do use electric screwdriver whatever is convenient for you exactly at the end of the storage securing the side and the back panel here. Two screws in the back panel, two in the side panels through the storage part of the sofa. You get kind of Z shaped brackets. We're gonna attach them from inside of the storage 
with the two screws this is the shorter screws you're gonna have two similar looking screws it's gonna be one longer one shorter this is the you're gonna use four shorter ones in this part so now the two shorter screws Z bracket from inside you see where the Z pointing up on the other side just secure the two screws place them in and attach them firmly And we can push the sofa a little bit backwards so we can lift the sofa up make sure you have enough space behind and lift it up i recommend to people to lift this up to save your back now we can push put the sitting panel in we're gonna go on the z brackets but before we open the storage space so we have easier access to the brackets so just slide the sitting part in once you're on the brackets, make sure the holes on the back panel are on the holes of the sitting panel. And again, two metal plugs, just slide them in to the side panel from the other side. And we can connect with the side panel. That's it. Just attach it. That's what we have so far and exactly the same screws we connect them with the we connect them together is gonna be four of these just join together and two of them coming on the back panel through the sitting panel and two of these coming through the sit sitting panel on the side to the side panel to to the side panel the smaller side panel okay secure it firmly on the other side we're gonna have those longer screws i said they got the similar looking screws four of them longer four of them shorter so on this side we're gonna secure the z bracket with the sitting panels with the four longer screws two for the each z bracket tie them up firmly and we're gonna have two hooks and four strange looking screws you're gonna see them they're different from the other screws in the back so we're gonna secure those two hooks on the underside of the sofa one on the right side and one on the middle so just secure it with the two screws the holes are pre-drilled already so you're gonna have you're not gonna have a hard time to find the holes you're gonna have a legs attach them they already have a screw on so just uh, secure them in seven legs in total two on the right attach them in three on the middle and two on the left side seven in total Okay, this is the bottom part just position up position it upside down that's the extending part so two metal brackets with a kind of hook on the side that's what is gonna hook on the who will be the sofa in place We're gonna have four wheels two on each side secure it with the two screws on each wheel those brackets on the sides they're gonna hook in those hooks what we did on the right side and on the middle so we got the wheels coming on just two screws for the wheel those are quite good uh, they're going very nicely when I try to open the store open the space so now we can prepare this uh, the extending part on the floor and put the sofa down slowly the best with the two people and we can put the opening part in so we lifted the front slide it in under those hooks what we put it on and there is two brackets you see is coming in if you don't leave the front up you're not going to be able to slide that in so that's where it hooks yeah you're not going to be able to push yourself out if you want to take it out just lift it up again go over the hooks and get out then you can clean inside whatever you need if you need to get under it so just lift it up slide it under the hooks there is it the view from inside from both sides slide it in and when you are at the end it's gonna stop you those two hooks you can open it up 
this extending part that's from inside and close it when you need to close the sofa, the sofa bed. Okay, and this is it. This is the Frichten Corner sofa bed from IKEA. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. You will make my day. And see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Frichten, right? Frichten. Yeah. I, can, I never can get this. The corner of the sofa. <laughs> I, guess, I guess this is the corner sofa and I'm not tired at all. Gosh. Cut. Show you how to cut. Still, cut. Hi guys, still I'm gonna show you. Cut. Always. <laughs> cut. That's it. I'm done.